Hello, good afternoon, and thank you all for coming. I'm very glad to be here uh, today presenting the, uh, announcing the uh, launch of our uh, ultra high definition channel, TISPASAT 4K, in the, our uh, North American, Central American, and Caribbean coverage in uh, Amazonas 3 satellite. <coughs> As uh, some of you know, because we've uh, seen each other a few months ago in Amsterdam, we started uh, our 4K adventure officially at IBC last year in Amsterdam, where we presented the, uh, our new channel, Hispasat 4K, <coughs> in our European coverage. Uh, as we said uh, then, uh, we are fully uh, confident, uh, we're serious believers that uh, 4K is the future of television. We don't have uh, too much doubt about that. Uh, it's going to be a matter of the rhythms, the, the timing that is going to take to, for TV <coughs> to become 4K, but we very much believe this is going to happen. Um, uh, the, the quality, the precision of the image, the depth, the immersive experience uh, makes a real difference uh, even uh, compared to high definition today. Uh, we, from research, uh, it's clear that uh, consumers uh, value uh, highly the, uh, uh, the, the, the improvement, the leapfrog in the experience of 4K, so this is going to happen. Uh, we also believe that satellite is the right media for 4K. It will not be the only one, but it's certainly the best position to lead it. By the way, uh, the, same, the same way that satellite led the analog to digital trans uh, transition and the transition to high definition. So we also believe that satellite will be in the leading edge of the 4K uh, revolution for many reasons. Obviously, the universal coverage and the uh, efficiency of satellite broadcast transmission compared to any other mean. So, since we are uh, sure that uh, 4K is the future of television and satellite has a key role to play, we decided that we wanted to do something ourselves to accelerate that process. We could have just see it and see things happening, but we decided to be an active player into this revolution. And this is uh, exactly the objective behind the uh, deployment of ISPASAT 4K uh, initiative. This is a channel which is created uh, as a tool for the whole industry to experiment, to test, uh, to promote uh, 4K through demonstrations. This is a channel uh, which is uh, uh, broadcast free to air, which means anybody which has the uh, proper reception systems can receive it and use it, as I said, to do their own testing, their own demonstrations to uh, any uh, stakeholders, content providers, retailers, etc. And this is, by the way, what we are doing already with our partners. Um, and the partners is the next thing. We, could, we couldn't have done this uh, on our own. When we uh, first thought of uh, deploying HISPASAT 4K, uh, um, we believed that the best way to do it was to join, uh, join in efforts with uh, other players from uh, the value chain. So, uh, uh, we thought it's good to have somebody which is a leading um, um, provider of compression, so compression solutions because compression uh, is going to be one of the key aspects of 4K. It's going to be one of the enablers to make uh, 4K commercially uh, viable in the short term. Uh, this, is, uh, this is why Thompson is sitting, us, is sitting with us here today. We also counted with uh, uh, other partners uh, which enhance uh, the experience. And this is why we recently added uh, Dolby to our uh, partner program. 
we of course have uh, partners which uh, help us to put the channel in our satellite, the, to uplink this Passat 4K channel. As, uh, as we uh, announced in the past, uh, we have Avertis Telecom doing that role for our European coverage on 30 degrees west, and we are doing this in the uh, North American, Central and North American coverage with uh, SATCOM uh, here in the US. Unfortunately, SATCOM couldn't be here uh, with us today, but I really want to give them the credit of uh, supporting us in this effort. We also have uh, uh, partners from the content side. Content, of course, it's uh, one of the key pieces, and I would say today probably the most uh, missing one in the equation. Uh, so we have partnered with uh, the Spanish uh, National Public Broadcaster, uh, Televisión Española. Uh, some of the content is, uh, which we air today in the channel has been uh, uh, it's uh, Televisión Española Productions where we have participated uh, as co-producers. We have uh, also, by the way, other content provided by some of our partners like Dolby. And uh, we are announcing today also an agreement that we have reached with uh, High TV, uh, which is uh, incorporating many more hours of uh, 4K content to the channel. Uh, fortunately, uh, High TV couldn't be here today either because they, they are in Cannes at uh, MIPCON selling uh, these and other content. Uh, <coughs> I think, um, <coughs> as I said before, we deploy this in Europe. We are today launching it officially on Amazon S3 in our Central and North American coverage and we will soon, and soon hopefully means no more than a couple of months, uh, launch it in, our, in South America as well. Uh, so looking, looking uh, behind, I think we are very, very proud of what we've done in uh, all these months. Uh, we created a channel which is permanent on air. We did at IBC uh, an HEVC transmission uh, down to 18 megabit per seconds, uh, which I think is the uh, most efficient that has been done today, or at least publicly done today. Uh, by the way, this uh, HEVC transmission at 18 megabit per second is also running on our booth. You can see that. One of the uh, steps that we've taken here at NAB this year is to uh, make this received by a prototype consumer receiver. Uh, until now, we've been using uh, uh, PCs with a software decoder to receive the uh, uh, 4K signals, <coughs> but we are showing at NEB this year uh, reception, HEVC reception on a reference platform from ST. I invite you all to to go to our booth and, and see that. And this is going to be one of the objectives for uh, this year, for uh, 2014. So indeed, um, involving uh, silicon vendors and involving uh, set-top box manufacturers is one of the objectives for the HISPASAT 4K initiative this year. We are already in discussions with some of them, and we hope we will soon announce uh, some of them joining to this, uh, to this uh, uh, program. I think that uh, with the addition of uh, significant volumes of new content from high TV mainly, but not only, with the involvement of uh, receiving uh, consumer, uh, consumer uh, electronics uh, companies and with uh, some specific events that we will, um, we hope, we're working on that, we will be doing around the World Cup. Those three axes will probably be the main, uh, the main areas where we will focus in, in 2014. Of course, beyond the extension to other uh, geographies like today, uh, 
Central and Northern America and soon South America.